Okay, okay, okay. Good evening once again. Welcome to the fourth day of the Open Analytic Project powered by the Sagratia. All right, this project we are analyzing the Nigerian um, telecommunications industry, and this is the fourth day. All right, yesterday we look at um, the review. Um, the alternative ways of getting data from multiple and then five, but because of the of the way our data is structured, we we couldn't dwell too much on that. Okay, and we also brought in other dimensions like geopolitical zones, the icons that we are going to be using for the visualization. Yeah, we massaged and you know shaped the data in Power Query. And now the data is ready for visualization. Okay, then today um, we are just going to do a quick recap of you know yesterday's activity. Very quick. Now I quickly want to draw our attention to something we did when we are training the model in Power Query. So we got the data from a folder, and because we have different as a a different sheet on the Excel workbook, and there's one of them for the porting activities that have a different structure from others. So we need to filter the data, okay? So that filter that we did um, is not, by the time we start adding additional files, is not updating automatically. So we, we are quickly going to fix that. Then we bring in the an Nigerian shape file, that's the Nigerian map shape file. And we also create additional measures for the analysis. Total subscribers, you know, we get the total active voice subscribers, the total active internet subscribers. Then we can also look at the percentage active voice and active internet subscribers. So all those measures, we are going to be creating them hopefully today. All right, then we do one or two visualization and I think it should be fine. Now, let me bring up my, take us to Power BI and quickly show us what I need. All right, so this is the file, this is the folder we are working on. You, you can see that I have from, where I have different type of files. I have a folder inside the folder, I have, this is a PB, this is a Power BI file. Then now from first quarter, quarter 2019, this, data, this folder is up to date. But if I come to my Power BI and I go to Power Query, okay, yeah, and I go to Power Query, well, let me just refresh all. Yeah, I've done that. So from here, um, I should be seeing 2019, or I should see 2019, because 2019 is, of course, the latest year that we are working on. So, but you notice that 2019 data is missing. Okay, so the reason for that is what we quickly want to fix now. All right, so at this point for the Nigerian Telecom data, Okay, so if you come here, you see that there's no, 2019 is not even here. So, but we can see it here. So what happened is that when I apply this filter, I, okay, so when I apply this filter, I pick, I selected the year that we are available at that point. So it's not automatically, the query did not understand, or the model did not understand what, how it should treat, you know, updated, anytime there's an update. Okay, so to quickly fix that, what I, I'm going to do is I'll just come to uh, come to the name, click on the filter icon, then I want to do text filter. So I'm going to be telling the model that come. Anytime there's an, a new file and the file contains, you know, the naming convention contains, Say 20. Because of course we have 
2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, you know, and so on, like that. So anytime it contains 20, then it should add it to the existing file. So once I do that, yeah, so, uh, sorry. Okay, something is, I think I missed something here. All right, let me just quickly, oh, sorry. All right. So this step was supposed to come, okay, and that should fix it now. Okay, yeah, so you can see that we have 2019 now. All right, so what I will do is that this new, this, um, the former step, I can just get rid of it. Because of course, we don't need that again. All right, so now my data show up 2019. And uh, this, yeah, so this is fine. So I, we also, okay, so we have 2019 now. Nice, okay, oh, there's another thing I need to do here. I need to also, for this filter, what we did was to remove Porting, ati uh, porting activity, okay, we just filter by, okay, we said anywhere there's porting activity, you know, we don't want to see it, but I think this is not, this can also be optimized. So to optimize this filter, what we do is that we come to, we can also use the name, come to the name and say, okay, yeah, filter by text filter does not contain Okay, when it does not contain, now I've mastered it. I studied the data. I discovered that it's possible that the porting is in capital letter. Some maybe some can be in small letter. So in order to you know not to um, in order just to to improvise for that, I'm taking out P. I'm using. I know this will be available in the data. So anytime it does not contain this. Then it should return, you know, it should filter out. Uh, okay, yeah, so this, this is what we want for the Nigerian telephone data. We only want to see active voice and active internet. So um, the former steps I applied, I can just, you know, take it out. Okay, yeah, so the model is fine now. Okay, and it can always be improved upon anyway. But at least with what we put in place now, once there's an update, everything will work seamlessly without missing out any data. So we quickly apply the same step for the porting activity. Okay, so here we want to add a text filter. Okay, okay, okay. So I will come here and say, okay, you know what? It be a text filter. Um, contains. All right, so you can get rid of these. All right, so the same thing here. Here I filter by, you know, porting activity. Um, so it's not, it's not well optimized. So now I would say contain, Porting activity for telecom data said should not contain porting activity, but for here it should contain, you know, all 
ORTI engine. So I'll just apply the filter. Now I should see 2019 now. Uh, okay. Should be here. Nope. Should be here. So. Coming up. Yeah. So there's 2019 now. I can just get rid of this old one. And I think that is about it. Yeah, there's 2019 here. Okay, so let me just close and apply. So remember why, why we have to do this is in case we want to bring in 2020 data, you know, the model we, are, we understand that anytime there's 20, then you should add that file to the existing data. Okay, and for, for the splitting, anywhere there's ORCING, then that should be porting activities data, you know, and so on like that. Okay. Uh, I, I hope you guys are still there. Yes, sir, we're here. All right. Yes, All right. we're here. Oh, Messi, good to hear you. Yeah. <laughs> Messi is back. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, Messi, welcome back. All right. Thank you. So, yeah, there's something we didn't do yesterday. Um, I don't know why these are, uh, you know, at this point, you're also supposed to connect, you're also supposed to join the subscription type with the tele uh, Nigeria Telecom data. Okay. So, yeah, it's joined. Let's let's apply the filter on both you know both direction. Then uh, I can just yeah yeah sorry can you why are you applying the filter on both direction? Okay, so when you okay let me let me reverse the steps so that it will be easier to it will be easier to explain. Okay, so mm, it's coming up. Uh, uh, come on, come on, come on. All right. So once I do this, by default, a a one to many relationship was established. This is one to many. I hope you under, I hope you know that. Okay, and um, the filter is applied from. Okay, so what? When it is a single filter now, and because it's a one-to-many relationship, there will be more preference. Okay, more preference will be given to this, to the one side, okay, of the relationship. That's the subscription type. So the filter is being applied from the subscription type to telecommunication data. So that's what this thing is doing. That's that's the one direction. So when you make it like both direction. Okay, so at any given point in time, maybe you are, you, you are trying to filter from telecommunication data. Okay, everything will work fine, you know, without giving you any issue. I, I don't know if you get that. Mm. So you are saying like, if you want to filter from a subscription type through or Nigeria Telecom, you can do that from this subscription type. Is that what you mean? Is that, is that why you are using the boot? Okay, so yeah. Now, you know, once we drop, why we are doing the joining in the first place is because we want to bring in, this is, okay, this is like our fat table. This telecom, Ninja Telecom is our fat table. Okay? Mm -hmm. So the dimension table here is the subscription type. You understand? It's just like a dimension table where we get additional mm -hmm. information about the fat table. Okay, so if we we can use this to filter Nigeria Telecom's data, okay, because it's a one-to-many relationship and the direction travels from you know the dimension table to the fat table. Yeah. You understand? So by the time we do both, we say the filter should be the cross filter. Now it's a cross filter. It should be applied 
in both direction. So we'll be able to apply the filter also in both direction. That's, that's, that, I think that's just a simple uh, explanation I can give. Well, there might be something. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but why we are doing that is just, okay, I can filter now. I can filter, what is it called? Ninja telecommunication from this table, from the part table, because yeah. I already have a boat, the filter in both direction. Do you understand? Yeah. yeah. Do you understand that? Yeah, I understand. All right. Oh, do we have any better explanation? Because I know I'm surrounded with uh, gurus. <laughs> Toby, are you there? Hello, Toby, are you there? What? Um, Toby is... All right, so, but Simon, I believe you get the explanation. Sir. I get, yeah, I got the logic, yeah. All right. So, me, I, I like to always, you know, just do both directions. You can both directions, yeah. Yes, yeah, I like to always do that. It's, I don't think it, be, it, won't, it won't cost any arm, and it, it's just to be on the server side. So. All right, so this is, I think this is a star, you know, <laughs> a star relationship. Or a star data model. Now, um, the next thing we want to do. So now that we have this, we can go back to our data. Um, let me just go to the data view. And for the Nigeria Telecom data, we also want to we also want to add additional columns that will help us to be able to sort the data. Okay, so we call it um, we call it date sort. Okay, so click here. Yeah, so we can just add a new column. All right, so we call it date sort. Okay, equals. Mm, so. This will be concatenate, same concatenate we have in Excel. So concatenation is, you know, we are joining two columns together, maybe two or more columns together. But for us, we just want to join the year. That's the year column. And we want to also, we want to join it with the quarter column, but for the quarter column, we will only be getting the number, okay? One, two, like first quarter, we have Q1, second quarter, Q2. So because we only want to get this number, so what we do is that we use rights function and say the quarter column now is as quarter, then it's only one. Okay, Q, just get the first, you know, from the right. So we say one. And close parentheses. Then we should have our date sort now. Yeah, so this will help us to be able to sort the data. All right. Yeah, I think another thing we did yesterday that we need to quickly optimize is this particular total subscription. Now for this total subscription, what we did was to just add everything together, both voice and active, and that is, <laughs> that doesn't make sense, okay? So, um, um, Toby called my attention to it, I reasoned along, it doesn't make sense really, because you cannot have data without doing voice. You need to first have a SIM card. So when, once you have a SIM, then, Anytime you load the charge card on your SIM, hey, that is voice. You can now decide to take it further and say, okay, this is my recharge card. Maybe I'm just send you one love message that will you like to use this thing for data? And you fall in love with the love message and you said yes. But you know, you have to first do voice before you do data. So it, it would be best for us to, uh, what's it called? So it will be what we calculate now 
you just give us everything summed up together, which, which is not the best measure. All right, so to fix that, what we are going to do is we just use calculate function, they calculate, uh, then we want to get, okay, we want to get the sum, okay, and we want to get the sum of, okay, number of subscription, Okay, then we apply a filter. Sorry, let me close this. Apply filter. Okay, so we filter by um, so we filter by the table is Nigeria Telecom. Okay, and the expression will be maximum okay we are getting um, okay sorry where our date sort Okay. Equals maximum. That's maximum date sort. All right. So what this is doing is that it will only give us for the current uh, quarter. I, I don't. I don't know if you get that. What this formula is doing is it will filter. You know, this total suspicion and only return for the current quarter. Okay? But we are not going to be using total suspicion in as part of we, we, we still have to filter it further to get the active voice subscribers and the active internet subscriber. So but we are just doing this so that by the time we want to write that formula, it is not going to be long. Okay, so are we don't mind the way I write my formula. I'm just you know, when you are coming from SQL environment, you will appreciate <laughs> formatting, uh, query formatting. Yeah, so I think that is that I can, can just check. Let me confirm. Okay, yeah, I think it make, makes sense now. All right. So the next thing I want to do, I can just bring in a card to check the total. Oh, okay, so let me just bring in this card. Let me see the card. All right. Now I want to get the total active subscribers. So I'm just going to do New measure. New measure. So my total active, or just say total voice subscriber, subscriber, or subscribers equals. So this will give me calculate. You know why we use calculate? Because hey, we want to apply a filter. Calculate will help us to always filter the data. So we are saying calculate the total subscriber now, or total subscription, uh, then filter by, the filter will be our subscription column equals active voice. Okay, so um, there's something I skipped. I'll, I'll quickly fix that too. Okay, active voice. Yeah, this is fine. 
Yeah, I just remember something now that I was supposed to also put in place. So um, let me quickly go to Power Query and do that. Yeah, so what I want to do is that if you come to this subscription type, you will see that we have, you will see that we have, uh, where is this guy here? All right, so we have only internet and voice. Well, in our data, we have active voice, active internet. So we need to just fix that, you know, so that um, everything will be in the right order. So what I do is just a step, find and replace, then we are done. So I'm going to come here, click on find, replace value, then replace active. Okay, so I will put a space with nothing. Okay, the ones I say, okay. I can also just trim the data for, to remove trailing spaces or maybe lagging spaces. So I'm right clicking. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, yes, yeah, coming up. Okay, so I'll just go to transform and trim the data. All right, so this is fine now. Yeah, fine. So we're gonna apply. All right, so I can come back to that measure. Okay, and update. I can just update the measure. Why not apply the same? So I'll come to the measure and say this should be just voice now. Then I can check the total, you know. Okay, Let me just add the border so that should be I'll see what I'm doing then. Instead of border, I can just add shadow. Yeah. I hope you guys are excited about this shadow, you know, <laughs> that Power BI added in the latest, the latest updates. Simon, are you excited to see this? Yeah. <laughs> You know, it it makes sense. You know, make make your report look more good. Yeah, look more, more mature. More, yeah, more mature, more sexy, and that's cool. Yeah. So, um, sorry, I don't know why I added currency. <laughs> I like audio, so I'm just going to quickly remove that. We are not dealing with currency here. So, uh, how do I fix that? In this row number, okay, that should fix that. Okay, yeah, so um, the next thing I will do is to get the total, total active, okay, oh, all right, so. Yeah, okay, no well, let me take it one at a time. So I'll get total, uh, getting total internet subscriber, subscriber, subscribers. So this will just be calculate. Uh, that will be sum. Calculate total, call it subscription, where, uh, subscription type, yeah, yes, yeah, subscription equals internet. Okay, now close. Yeah, so this should give us what total internet. That's really fine. Now I can just 
Uh, Hello, talk to us. I can hear me. Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Uh, I think I think it's, it's best you rename the um the the name of the card from okay. total voice subscribers to total voice subscription. Okay. Subscribers means that the people that are subscribing for the voice are one is five million. Ah. Uh, so uh, oh. Okay. 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 So it should be subscription, right? Yeah, I think that makes more sense. All right, all right, cool. Obina, you're welcome. Thank you. Uh, so suspicion. You know, I was I was actually struggling to to get. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I get. Now, so I think this is fine. Suspicion. All right. Oh, internet subscription, okay. Yeah. All right, so uh, we don't need this actually. I just drop it to, so we can also get the percentage, okay, percentage. Uh, let me get percentage, internet. And I think I'll just add the percentage and see how we can optimize this. So percentage, voice, subscription, subscription. So that will be divide. So we are dividing the numerator. The numerator is the voice, subscription, and the denominator is the total subscription. Yeah? So this will give us the percentage of voice. Yeah, let me repeat that for internet. So same formula, percentage, internet, or percentage, yeah, percentage internet. So this will give us just the same formula, divide. Uh, Internet by total. Okay. Cool. All right. So I can also I'm just show them in a card to V from to V. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So. I want to, this should be percentage voice. Uh, uh, then you can just put this in percentage and reduce, you know, it should be rounded up to the nearest whole number. Okay, so that's 59%. This should be. Okay, then I will also format this. And uh, I'm doing this up too. All right. Yeah, so nice. Um, the next thing we want to do is to, you can bring in, you can just show the trend. Uh, this is my card. I don't know the other city. Okay, let me quickly do that. I think it's this. Uh, okay, yeah, so. Um, don't mind my visual. This is just. Uh, just need to quickly come up with something. All right, so I will bring in the, okay, so let's check the train, you know. Uh, so what I will do is to bring in a nine chart. Then I want to see, uh, this doesn't make sense again. 
I want to say, um, I want to say the total, nope, voice to be my value, and I have internet join. Then I want to, you know, see the performance, you know, by quarter. So I can just bring in the quarter of the year. No, not the quarter. The axis. No. So the quarter or quarter of the year. Okay. This quarter of the year. All right. Yeah, it's called quarter of the year. Okay, so I will. What I want to do is to sort this data. So because we already have a date sort, so this part of the app, I'm going to click on it, come to sort, to sort, um, and sort by the date sort. Okay. So by default, it's sorted, you know, descending order. I want to change it to sort ascending. So that it should be from, you know, third quarter of 2017 to, all right. Then another thing I can quickly do is to, uh, one minute, one minute, one minute, guys. So I can just add like a data label so that I'll be able to see, you know, the values. Uh, from here, add data label. Uh, my RY axis and go, and uh, my panel still. All right, I hope you guys are still following. Hello, guys, are you there? Yep, okay. So, I want to, you know, see the performance by the network operator. So they will just they will just be like it. There will be uh, maybe I'll bring in a slicer. So I've already imported shields shieldlet slicer or shieldlet sorry shieldlet slicer. Uh, you can also get it from the app source. Okay, and uh, yeah, just type for the name. So we are going to be using it to. That's the slice that we use. Uh, uh, okay, so um, I'm going to drag. So why we are using this slicer is because, you know, there's provision for image, and we want to, you know, we want to be, we want to see the image or the logo of all the companies. So uh, it's just good to use. This slicer, that's it. Shy Shillet slicer. <laughs> I hope I hope that's the pronunciation anyway. So I'm going to come to operate operator's logo. The URL will be here, and um, the operator will be in my category. Then I want to say the column to be one column. Okay. And um, just a quick, let me quickly clean this up. Clean this. Yeah, I also want to start by, I want to sort this by the index. Then um, just to quickly clean this up. Uh, okay, it's coming up. All right. Okay, so let me just quickly clean this up. Come to this guy. Uh, the height should be 70. This should also be same, maybe 65. Then I want to say this five. I want to make uh, the outline should be rounded. Okay, then I come to image, 
Let's say for the image, it should be 100. And then, yeah, so it's looking like it now. All right, so, yeah, I can just quickly, you know, adjust this and adjust this. Okay, so well, can still look more better than this, but because of our because of our time, yeah. so I will drag this to. Uh, okay, come on. All right, so I want to just. Do this and um, okay. So we can check for anything. Say, uh, coming, coming, coming. Hello guys, I hope you are still following. Hello guys, are you still there? Hello? Ah. Okay, Messi, you are there, right? <laughs> yes, I'm here. Okay, please. Uh, I need our response so that, you know, I'll be rest assured I'm not, I'm not a liver, I'm a Liverpool fan. Liverpool fans, we don't work alone. We, you know, so just trying to make this look a little bit more presentable. All right, so we can check for NTN. Okay, now for NTN, we see. All right, so uh, I think I know what is responsible for that. Okay, so what I will do is I will come to this, uh, where is this guy again, operator, and okay, so I'll just come to yeah, let me quickly look into that then. I think we can call it a day from there. Ah, uh, what is wrong? No. Okay. So let me see this. Six, six. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's fine now. Um, so we see MTN, you know, you can see the trend in the, um, the third quarter of 2017. The total voice subscription is higher than the total internet subscription. Okay, and well, obviously, we have more voice subscription yeah. compared to the internet subscription. Yeah. All right, then. Wow. Yeah, of course. Is there everybody that can? You know, <laughs> yeah, That's true. That's true. yeah, so yeah, so this is cool. Um, uh, my time is up, so I'm just going to stop recording now. Then we can um, just you know, discuss and before we call it a day, 